Sailing in windy weather can be a blast. One of the elements to having a good time is to make sure and go to smaller head sails and reef the main when necessary. Today we are going to talk about a few simple add-ons to make it easier to reef a mainsail. A basic reefing system consists of several components. One set of reef points are made up of a reef point at the front for the luff and a reef point at the back for the leech. In between the two reef points are small reef points. These are used for tying up excess sail once the main is reefed down. At the front of the boom there's a set of reef horns. The reef horns are there so that when you lower the main you can secure the front reef point onto the reef horn. To pull the leech of the sail in there is a reef line on the boom. The reef line usually dead ends at the back of the boom, goes up through a reef point, back down through a cheek block, and then up to a cleat towards the front of the boom. This is the way my boat was set up from the factory. I like it because it's simple. However, there were a few upgrades I added to make mine work better. The first problem I had was that the track on the back of the mast for the mainsail slides is too short. I couldn't quite get the reef point hooked onto the reef horn. Second, the stock 2 to 1 purchase for the reef line didn't always allow me to get the foot of the main tight enough. Let's look at a few simple upgrades to make this system work better. At the front, I added a 4 to 1 Cunningham for reefing. It's made up of two fiddle blocks with a tail of line attached at the top block and a reef hook attached at the other end. Note that the tail is secured by an eye strap. This allows you to lower the main down, get the reef point close to where you want it, and then cleat the halyard off. Then simply attach the Cunningham to the reef point and cinch it down. No need to retension the halyard to get the luff tight. The second add-on is a small winch on the boom for the reef line. This way you can wrap the reefing line around the winch a few times and snug up the foot of the main. It gets it nice and tight in a hurry, especially if you use a winch handle with it. To add the winch on the boom, you will need to make a curved base for it to mount to. I made mine from some scrap white oak I had lying around the shop. I shaped the bottom with a belt sander to match the shape of the boom. The holes in the base have the same hole patterns as the winch base. The next step is to drill and tap a set of holes into the boom. Then just fasten the winch and the base onto the boom with machine screws. Note that there is also a jam cleat just behind the winch. This allows you to temporarily cleat off the first reef and use the winch for a second reef if need be. Although there are much more complex reefing systems, these two add-ons made mine work really well. See you back on the water.